taking inspired action. I'm going to use five points to make my point. Point number one, make your plans and then surrender your plans to source, to the creator, that he may bless them. Ask that his perfect will be done concerning your plans. Point number two, believe that whatever you ask for is already done. Point number three, sit still in a quiet room and wait for inspiration. Inspiration only comes in a still small voice. So you have to be still in order to hear it. Point number four, write down anything that you get in that time of inspiration. Point number five, take inspired action. Once you get it on paper, move forward. This is Chef Inspire. Hungry people are willing to do whatever it takes today to get to their desired result for tomorrow. Point number two, hungry people are unstoppable. They will not stop until they have quenched their hunger. Point number three, hungry people never give up. Failure is not an option for them. Point number four, hungry people are willing to get up early and they're willing to go to bed late to do whatever it takes to complete the desires of their heart. Point number five, hungry people feed their minds on a regular basis, not only their bodies. Question number one, who are you? You must have a clear written statement that you read on a daily basis until it becomes your reality. Question number two, where are you going? What is your chief aim? What is your desired result? This also must be a written statement that you read on a daily basis until it becomes your reality. Question number three, what are you willing to give up? Your time, your talent, your abilities, your power in order to manifest these things. Question number four, what action are you going to take immediately today to manifest the things that you desire in your life? That the most wealthiest place is not in the banks in this world, but in the cemeteries. The cemeteries where people go to bring their dreams, their goals, their visions, their products and services, their power. They bring them there to disintegrate along with their bodies. You have power inside of you. You have gifts and talents and abilities that the world is waiting for you to bring forth. Why haven't you done it? What are you waiting for? Life is short. And our time is very, very, very precious. It's the only non-renewable substance. We must bring our talents, our gifts, and our abilities to the forefront. We could change our lives and our children's lives and our children's children's lives and the lives of those around us if we learn how to bring forth the gifts and the talents and the abilities and the ideals that come to us from infinite intelligence. Your power is only power when you bring it forth. Otherwise, it is just dust. You can pretty much put yourself in the state that you desire. You can have whatever you desire. Why? Because you have the ability and the power to choose how you're going to react to the situation. And you can react negatively or positively. But guess what? It's your choice. Don't let anyone take that choice away from you. I say to myself every day, I'm only going to have a good day or a great day. That's all I'm going to accept. I'm not going to accept anything else. Why? Because I have the ability to make that decision. Our thoughts are electric, they are magnetic, and they move in waves. Your thoughts are all around you, and the thoughts of others are all around you. If you think negative, what happens is you attract the same wavelength as the people that are thinking negative. So what happens is you share that wavelength with the negative people. That means that you attract more negative into your life. But if you think positive, uplifting, motivating, inspiring thoughts, you will share the same wavelength with all the people that are thinking on that same wavelength. In turn, giving you more and more of what you're thinking about, happiness, peace, and joy. This is Chef Inspire. We need to live our lives like tomorrow is the last day. 
live each day to the fullest enjoy every moment of what god has given us the time that god has given us time is the only non-renewable resource once we spend it it is gone so we need to live it like it is our last day if we learn to live this way not recklessly but appreciatively our lives will be blessed and we will uncover and live out the dreams we will take all of the things that we started like the books that we decided to read uh, that we wanted to read and the books that we wanted to write and the projects that we wanted to do and we would complete them because we knew we only had a certain amount of time left don't let a diagnosis move you to action move yourself to action this is about that behavior instead of looking at it as uh, something that helps me relax look at it as something that's stealing my health something that's taken away from my life something that eventually will cause me to get sick and and also to uh, steal from my family and my friends and, and, and my joy my purpose this is the way you have to look at it if you look at it in this manner what will happen is you'll have the ammunition you'll have the paradigm shift in order to change that behavior and this will cause lasting change and the lasting change will help you to uh, eliminate that thing out of your life forever how do you determine the quality of your thoughts you determine the quality of your thoughts by what it motivates you to do when you have good thoughts you do good things point number two our thoughts must be in line with our goals and our purpose why because if your thoughts are not in line with your goals and your purpose you are not moving forward and if you're not moving forward you are moving away from your goals and your dreams point number three how do i maintain good quality thoughts i maintain good quality thoughts by doing things that make me feel good why because my feelings follow my actions so I must do things, I must act in a way that makes me feel good. Point number four, the benefits of good quality thoughts. There's three benefits. Benefit number one is focus. It helps you to focus. Benefit number two, it helps to speed up your manifestation. The things that you desire in your life, they come faster when you use quality thoughts. And number three, it can make you wealthy. Turning your problems into opportunities. What is a problem? A problem is a situation or circumstances that is hard for you to handle. And it's even harder to handle when you handle it all on your own. Did you know that you have help? You can tap in to the source, the source of all answers, the source of all opportunities the source of all knowledge and when you learn to tap into that source what happens is you turn your problems into opportunities you turn your problems into opportunities for God to do what he does best he's the problem solver so what we need to do in our communities is stop thinking about the problems and start working on the solutions this is chef inspire we can do it we can change our method of thinking. We have been taught to think in this manner so that the things that are ailing us or the things that are bothering us can continue to be in our lives because we've learned to give these things energy. We've learned to give these things our thoughts. And when we give them our thoughts, we keep them alive. We keep them festering. We keep our communities um, full with violence and and we keep fear in our hearts and in our minds. When we understand that we have the power to control our own lives by the things that we think about on a regular basis, we will bring good things into our lives. We will bring productive things. We'll, we will renew our own power. Your personal power cannot even be used if you don't acknowledge that you have it. So this is the first part. You must acknowledge that you are powerful, that you are a finite being, 
that you have the ability and the capability to do anything that you set your mind to do.